Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School. Hope this finds you well. Uh, we are about an hour away right now from the architect's presentation here at Whitefish Bay Middle School on Wednesday night. Uh, this is a really exciting time to be in Whitefish Bay. There's a lot of big conversations uh, that are happening right now, and I, I hope that you're dialed into some of those. Uh, so there's these facility conversations that are happening, uh, exploring you know, our physical needs as a district. Uh, we have a presentation tonight. The high school has one coming up in a few weeks as well. Uh, and then we also have the community conversation around strategic planning that's happening. Uh, that community conversation is also in November. Uh, you'll find more information about that in the Thursday folder. But just a lot of great things that are happening as we look to the future of our school district, and we really want you to be a part of that. So please look into those opportunities. One thing we really want you to be a part of is parent-teacher conferences next week. As you know, we have conferences on Wednesday night. Those are in-person conferences from 4 to 8 p.m. You don't have to sign up for those. Just show up here at school, walk to your child's classroom, teacher's classroom, uh, and you'll be able to have a quick three to five minute conversation there with, with uh, each teacher. We also have the virtual conferences that are on Thursday. Those are fully virtual. Uh, Zoom-based conferences, you do need to sign up ahead of time, and you can do that through Family Access. I think most teachers have a few slots that are still available, uh, so we hope that you get a chance to do that. So I wanted to share with you tonight uh, just some thoughts that I had around how to have some really successful conferences. Uh, and I know for many of you, this might be your first conference at the middle school, so hopefully these three tips give you some inspiration to make the most out of the time next week. The first one is maybe the most uh, obvious one, but that's to come. Uh, we want you here, all of our teachers, regardless of how your child is doing right now, would love to see you either in person or virtually. Uh, so please do show up, uh, and if you can't, and we get it, sometimes life happens, um, maybe just think about shooting an email to your child's teachers to say, hey, just wanted to check in, if there's anything you think I should know about, please reach out, or just want to make sure you know my child's doing okay. We'd love to hear that too. So uh, we love partnering with our parents. We get this as a team effort. Uh, so we do hope to see you next week. The second one, and this might be different than the elementary school. We encourage you to bring your child. As, as kids get into middle school, they start taking more and more ownership over their learning. So who better to speak about their school experience this far, thus far but, but your child. So bring them with, whether that's in person or on Thursday, have them jump into the Zoom call with you. Uh, so that they can drive much of the conversation. And I think what you'll find is the, the your parent-teacher conference will be more rich and deep, and you'll get a better sense of what's really going on with your child when they're present with you in that space. So bring them in uh, or, or rope them in during that Zoom call. The final tip that I have for you uh, is to ask questions. I always tell parents to ask questions, but ask questions from a whole child perspective. I think as teachers, sometimes we fall in the trap of talking too much about academic performance, which is super important. But we also want to talk about how your child is developing as a, as a person and as a student generally. So think about asking questions of, um, like, how, do, how well do they work with other kids? Or do they seem organized and prepared for class every day? Or have they ever approached you with a question or to advocate for themselves? The answers to those questions gives you a, a different perspective on how well your child is doing here at school and maybe some things that they need to work on and grow into before they, they get across the street to the high school. So those are just three tips from a, from a guy who's seen a lot of parent-teacher conferences over the years, so I offer them to you uh, for whatever they're worth. Regardless, uh, I hope I see some of you tonight at the Architects uh, presentation, but hopefully we see many of you uh, next week, either in person or in Zoom. If there's anything I can do to help your conference experience be uh, even better, please reach out and let me know. Otherwise, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend.